NCAA Step Ladder Semifinals continues on Friday with the Letran Knights taking, taking on the second-seeded LPU Pirates. The Knights reach the next round after knocking out the San Sebastian Stags. LPU holds the psychological edge against Letran, having won both their elimination round games in Season 95. Here to break down this matchup, uh, we have our uh, analysts, uh, Mikey Reyes and Orgy Ermida. Uh, guys, marami kayong parang keys to winning dito for... Uh, for both teams, uh, si Borgi na unain ko. Um, you feel the like, like, CU kailangan they have to force turnovers ng uh, Letran? Bakit? Yes, since full court press yung uh, play ni play sa defense ni Coach Topek, so kailangan lang i force the turnovers yung Letran. Lalo na meron kang Marcelino Twins, Kaduyak, um, Renzo Navarro. Talaga marami silang pesky defenders na can defend the guards of the Letran Knights. Because ito rin yung nakikita mo baka it weakness ng Letran. Letran, yes. Saka kailangan makip nila yung high intensity, yung Lyceum. Especially sila yung waiting sa number yeah. two. Mm -hmm. Letran galing sa game last Tuesday, so medyo pagod pa yan. Pero sabi nga ni Mikey, baka may advantage pa ang Letran. Pero ako, baka oh, nakapahinga ng mas mabuti yung Lyceum. Nakaprepare. Nakaprepare, nakaprepare mas sila. Mas Pero tama siya na with LPU. I think the one thing that they can see na medyo, I don't want to say butas ng Letran, pero because of that front line, that huge front line, subukan natin umagaw na dito pa lang. Kasi once makababa, makakuha si Namuyang sa ilalim, si na Ato Ular, dun medyo mahirapan. So tama siya because of the the quickness and the agility of the guards of, of LPU. Yes, and, and, and at the same time, may championship experience na rin Lyceo. Medyo composed na sila maglaro. Alam na nila paano laruin yung mga ganitong crucial moments, crucial games. Okay, uh, let's focus on yung strength ng Letran, the, yung inside, inside game. game. Bakit ito ang uh, number one strength ng Letran Knights? Well, we, they don't have a uh, foreign athlete, obviously, like the other teams. Or like Mike Harry Zuzu, they don't have someone who can match up with them one-on-one. -on -one. But if you have Muyang, Ambohot, Ular, Balagasay, those guys na medyo nagpapalit-palitan to try and make life tough for, for Mike Harry Zuzu, dun pa rin magpo-focus ang Letran, I believe, because if they slow the game down, in-negate nila yung speed nila ng mga Marcelino Twins and si Ray Marcaduyak, dun sila makakapounce. They need to pounce on that paint. And if they can get Mike Harry Zuzu in early foul trouble, then that'll be ano, a big boost for, right. for Letran. Uh, yes. Para dun sa mga tao na hindi masyadong kilala si Ato Ular, kasi yeah. bakit bilib na bilib ka dito for Letran? Actually, entering the season, hindi pa siya masyadong napag-uusapan kasi nga si na Muyang Abalanza yung mga pinag-uusapan. Eh. Yeah, si Coach yeah. Hammer ang nagsabi na abangan niyo yung Ato Ular because he played in the MPBL with Marikina. So, dun nakita na parang, syempre, mamahasa ka sa MPBL. Um, uh, syempre, makukuha mo yung kumpiyansa mo. Then, entering this season, he had games na 20 and 20. And this guy's not even wide enough really to box people out. Talagang timing lang siya. He also feeds off of the attention na nakukuha ni Namuyang. So, nag-abang-abang lang siya doon and for drop passes. So, no play is really called for Ato Ular, but he will deliver for Letran. So, kung sa Letran, it's inside muscle. Uh, inside. Sa Lyceum, parang guardian naman yung yes. key player dito. Oh, Boy, parang ikaw, di ba? Guardian. <laughs> <laughs> Kasi, talagang ang bibilis ng Marcelino Twins eh. Mm. Plus, may kaduya ka pa and uh, si Renzo Navarro and Jason David. So si Jason David is playing the four spot. So again, uh, dominated nga ng Letran yung front line. Pagdating naman sa guards, talaga dadaanin sa bilis. Si, uh, Doon sa Marcelino Twins, sino yung mas paborito mo? Actually, si JC. Si JC Bakit? Marcelino. Bakit si JC? Uh, may shooting sa labas and medyo... Ano sila eh, uh, nagbabasaan sila with JV, right? No, JV, JV. Uh, JV is the right-handed, right? JV yung right, JV is right-handed. <laughs> yun lang yung ano, different uh -huh. sa <laughs> kanan. Si JC kasi medyo mas consistent yung outside shooting niya. And uh, penetrator din. Oh, and, and can create talagang opportunities. And coming games. into this game, I believe may, may extra pressure. I don't want to put pressure on the kid, pero may extra pressure kay JC because this is his first year na nasa yun na yung... You have the keys to the car because wala na si CJ yeah. Perez, wala na si MJ Ayaay. So he's the one who is tasked to really try to lead LPU to the next, uh, to the final. So it's going to be a big game for JC and he can, you know, etch his name into LPU record books if he can enter the final without CJ. Chance, oh, yes. chance niya to talaga. Uh, going back to Letran Borgi, again, dahil point guard ka, you feel na kailangan yung sa Letran dapat umiikot yung bola dito. Yes. Why is that so important for them? 
Well, uh, last game, naka-25 assists sila eh. So, mataas yun ah, for collegiate. Yep, yep. And naka-6 uh, players ang naka-double digits sa kanila. So, malaking bagay talaga. Hindi, uh, as Mikey said a while ago, walang foreign, Wala. foreign player ang letran. So, talaga magre-rely lang sila sa isa't isa. Mm. Eh, there's really no one guy. Aside maybe from, aside from uh, Jeric Balanza. Balanza. I think Balanza is the only one who can actually create his own shot na talagang wa one on one siya. So, other than him, sina Franyu, sina Olivario, sila yung mga nagkikreate para sa Letran. So, if you wanna involve the bigs, trabaho din ang guardia yes, yun eh, para umabot sa ilalim yung bola. So, yun yung malaking uh, responsibility. Mag ng Magandang game. game to kasi with Lyceum, talagang guard-oriented yep. si Coach Topex. Pagdating naman sa Letran. Coach Bonnie, big man. Oh, bigs naman. Yes. Yes. So, para kunyari, let's say, in the simplest terms, if you're watching the game, pag mabilis yung takbo ng laro, lamang, advantage lamang. is yes. LPU. 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 Pag bumagal yung takbo, lakaran, lakaran ng laban, letran na sa advantage. Advantage mm. ng... Uh, hindi malayo dun sa step ladder ng UAP. Oh, mabilis, tsaka oh. dapat bagalan nyo kasi... Hindi, But the difference hindi... is, this is just one game. Yes. Oh, yun one ang... Game. Uh, do or die. That's, that's this, is a, this is do or die, this is a knockout game, yeah. and because it's a knockout game, yeah. Ang magandang tanong dito, who has the edge yes. in this knockout game? Is it LPU or is it Letran? I'm gonna go with, Let with Letran. I'm gonna go with Letran because of that front line. And even though 0-2 sila sa LPU, I just believe they have that slight edge. Kasi pag, yes. kasi pag final four na, medyo mas yung tendencies, yung scouting, mas ano na, planchado na. So baka mas mabagalan nila naro. Ako, babawi ako kay Coach Topex. Lyceum. <laughs> <laughs> Lyceum ako. Kasi yun nga, as I said, uh, composed na sila eh, sa mga ganitong crucial games. Uh, nasa final sila for the last two, two, yeah. two, two years. So medyo alam na nila paano laruin. So kung pumasok kang LPU, tingin mo may chance sila sa San Beda? Wala ata. <laughs> <laughs> Gusto ko sabihin ni Borgi, eh, kahit sino pang pili ko dahil eh, San Beda naman ang magsachampion eh. Abuso naman, Coach yun Topex. Yun, 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 yun ang gusto niya talaga sabihin. <laughs> Again, hindi ako bayan. <laughs> okay, so it's LPU versus Letran. Again, sabi ng ating experts, if the game is fast, advantage LPU. If the game is slow, advantage Letran. Thank you very much, guys, for the... Uh, Uh, preview of the stepladder semi. Still ahead, the Cool Smashers are now a win away from sweeping their way to the PVL Open Conference Championship. How will the Petrogas Angels respond in Game 2 of the Finals? Find out when the score returns.